Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Asher Gamer, and this is Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. I'm starting a new game and a new campaign, and we are going to be playing as an Imperial citizen, and one who uh, will try, by any means necessary, to restore the Empire. It's going to be very light roleplay, but roleplay nonetheless. A little bit of gaming tips and talk about the game. And uh, other than that, it's going to be uh, it's pretty much that stuff. So I really like this game, and I want to play this, and I want to do this, and I have a lot of time now ahead of me, which is really nice. So let's get started with the new campaign. on my console, which is why that's going to take a little while to go across. For 500 years, the Calradian Empire dominated the continent. Its armies scattered foes before them. The strongholds of proud tribes crumbled beneath its engines of war. From the forests of the north to the wastes of the south. All was brought beneath the standard of their legions. Brutal as the conquest was, the wise agreed that it brought peace. The land, now untroubled by armies, grew rich. But empires, like men, grow old. Leaders lose a common cause. Corruption spreads. Old enemies learn the empire's tricks and devise new ones of their own. Until one day, the bonds holding the Empire snap. Then comes the Civil War, pitting all against all. A time of hatred. A time of suffering. But also, even in the worst hours, a time of courage and defiance. As new leaders arise, from new places and new peoples, to turn back the tides of destruction and bring forth a new world from the ashes of the old. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there we go. What you've got is basically the story of the Roman Empire. After several hundred years, it falls into pieces, and now... In Calradia, there are three sections of the Empire still fighting against each other. The Southern, the Western, and the Northern Empire. And then you have, of course, these five other groups. They have the Vlandians, who are going to be your Western Europe. Sturgeons from the North, your Vikings and your Russians. The remnants of the Empire, also known as the Byzantines. The Batanians, who are going to be your Celts. Kuzates, who are going to be your Mongols. And the Azerai. We're going to be your Southwest Asian uh, groups like that. So we are going to go with the Empire. The Calradian Empire is in decline. Even before the suspicious death of the Emperor Arenikos, the once united realm was torn by political rivalries. Today, those factions are in open war, yet Calradians endure. Their methodical study of defensive strategy in which garrison cities slow down invading forces until mobile field armies can come to their rescue helps hold their neighbors at bay. 
This one's going to give us 20% less garrison troop wage, which is nice, especially when you start picking up uh, different villages. Being in an army brings 25% more influence, which is going to be very useful uh, when we get into working with that. And then finally, village hearths increase 20% less. And I really don't know what that means. I should probably have studied that more, but I really don't know what that means. But we are going to go with the Empire. And as this uh, is titled Daughter of the Empire, this guy is going to have to go. So, let's see here. Pop some clothes on her real quick. Oh, look at that armor. That armor is very, very cool. So, we're going to make her a little bit taller. Eh? A little bit taller? A little bit taller. Just going to give her just a little bit more healthy weight. Make her a little bit stronger. Perfect. Alright. Face... Really worried about that. Nose, da da da. Hair. Let's see here. I'm gonna go for. A, hmm. <coughs> there we go. I even like the color. So we'll do that. She looks great. Oh, but let's do something interesting. This is not your normal farm person. This one. This one's a warrior born. So where has she been scarred? There's some really hefty scars. Boom! Right across the mouth. Oh, that was a hell of a hit. Ooh, what about this? There you go. You were attacked by some badass beast. Let's see how that goes. Alright. You were born into a family of... I'm going to go with Freeholders. The goal behind this character build is to create a generalist soldier, someone who can be um, just about any part of the Imperial Army. The story is, she was always wanting to be a legionnaire. And so basically, her father, Petros, he wanted her to know the stories of the Empire. He was only just a freeholder. So example, your family were small farmers with just enough land to feed themselves and make a small profit. People like them were the pillars of the imperial rural, rural sorry, economy, as well as the backbone of the levy, which means she's going to need to know how to fight a little bit, but 10 skill levels and one focus point to athletics and polearm, and one attribute point to endurance. The goal is to get her as an imperial um, legionary and then become an equite, which is a rider. As a child, you were noted for your way with people, aptitude for numbers, attention to detail, Leadership skills. I'm going to go with way with people because charm and leadership are extremely useful for somebody going into the armed areas. Like all village children, you helped out in the fields. My, this girl, Artemisia is her name. Artemisia helped herd the sheep. She threw rocks at the wolves to get them to go away and she kept the sheep in line, which means she had to run after them a lot. Athletics is going to be very useful. In war-torn Calradia, especially in the frontier or tribal areas, some women as well as men learn to fight from an early age. You. Let's see here. So guard with the garrisons, train with the cavalry, row with the scouts, train with the infantry, join the skirmishers. I'm going to go with... Trained with the infantry. Yeah, so we've got one in throwing, one in one on one arm, two in pole arm, two in athletics. Hmm. You defeated an enemy in battle. No, let's talk about where we got that scar. We got that scar from hunting a dangerous animal. That's going to give us one focus arm to poke pole arm and crossbow. Defeat an enemy in battle. Yeah, we can become a... We're going to use that later on. What do I want to treat people well? Charm and steward. Steward is useful. Mercy, generosity, honor. <laughs> nope. We had to get that uh, cut from somewhere. Like many families in Calradia, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and your two younger siblings to a new town you'd heard of was safer. But you did not make it. 
Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain, and your two youngest siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because... See, it's a dude, a raider, one-handed athletics. Drove them off with arrows. Rode off on a fast horse. We've got a fast horse. You tricked the raiders, or you organized the travelers to break out. For her? For her, it's you subdued a raider. A raider. Athletics three. Oh, there we go. Vigor, social. Good, 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 good. Artemisia is not a very... She's not trying to be on Artemisia. Artemisia? Hold on. Gotta spell this. And spelling is not my forte. Artemisia. Artemisia is gonna be your very much your your imperial ground troop. And I know I've got a horsey, but I'm not going to use him very much. Good evening, Taco. Yes, I adore games with incredibly deep and complex uh, character creation systems. And this one has a lot. Difficulty presets. I am still learning. Still learning. But... I'm going to ease up on some things. Combat AI difficulty is fine because I am not very good. However... Hmm. I don't think I'm ready for that just yet. I'm going to auto-allocate, not because I don't want to, to actually get into this, but because each person is their own person. And the only one I truly have control over is this lady right here. And I just pointed... And I realize I don't have a camera attached, so I just pointed. And I'm, I'm still pointing, and I don't know why I'm doing that. But yes, here we go. Let's see what we do. Sister, it's been three days now we've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue our brother and sister? Are we up for a fight? Oh, Nathanos. Now, Nathanos, my brother... He was allowed to go to the Grammaticus and the Raytor, the, the schools in the large city near our old village. And uh, he was the one that was supposed to take over as soon as everything was taken care of. He was supposed to move us to the city, and now that's all changed. We up for a fight? This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush up on our skills. The practice could come in handy when we catch up with the raiders. So first off, I'm really excited that they've actually... Um, They've actually uh, added voice acting to this, and they say they're going to add even more, which I'm very excited with. So I'm going to say I'm going to run the course because I want to do the original tutorial mission, but I'm not going to run the course right. because we don't have that kind of time. And I feel like, uh, oh, I'm going to try moving in four directions to get that off there. And I'm out. And we're going to see what happens now. Nothing else. Before we do anything else, we're low on food. There's a village north of here where we can buy provisions and find some help. You're a better rider than I am, so I'll let you lead the way. Really? Because my riding is awful, Nathanos. Ah, oh, yes. Hold on one second. Whoa. We're gonna go to Tevea. Forgive me if my pronunciations are off. Take a walk around. We're here, I guess. So, we need food, and after that, maybe some men to come with us. The Ed Man here can probably help us. Let's try to find him. Let's indeed go try to find him. Let's see here. Ah, that was easy. Sometimes he's on the far side of the place, so there we go. I'm Orthos, Ed Man of this village. What brings you here? We need help. Some raiders have taken our younger brother and sister captive. We think they may have passed this way. They got your people too. Sorry to hear that. Those bastards have done a bit of killing and looting in these parts as well. We think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here who'll join you in going after them if you'll Everyone's pay for just their gear. Cutting through our conversation. My horse, like my horse is right here, and they're just pushing through. Once you've made your preparations, come and talk to me again. I may have a task for you, if you're going after the raiders. 
Oh yeah, I'll be right back. So the reason I'm doing the tutorial mission is A, I, I need that story. I'm a completionist kind of thing. I need that story of how we find everybody in two because without any kind of like story or any kind of uh, any kind of uh, change to anything, you can actually further your skills a little bit. We finished our preparations. Let's talk to the headman again. He said he may have a task for us. We could use his friendship, which is great because this guy disappears after the tutorial. Visit. Glad to see you found what you needed. Now, how about that matter I mentioned earlier? There's this wandering doctor who comes through here from time to time. Name of Tactius. Treats people for free. <laughs> We're fond of him. Well, we last saw him a few days ago. He was carrying some sort of chest, which he was very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest, he said, though wouldn't tell us more. He set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders came through it. Well, he's not really a worldly type, just the kind of fellow who'd stumble into a trap and let himself be captured. We're worried about him. If you can keep an eye out for it, we'd be very grateful. Maybe if he's alive and well, he'll tell you a little more about his quest. I kind of wish they kept Orthos and all of them afterwards, because that would make it, you know, just a little bit cooler. I have not played Sword Art Online Abridged. So let's see here. Okay. I'm not going to get too close, because these guys can bunch up quick. That's one of the problems with this game, is if you're not careful about how far away people are, you're going to get hit by four or five different groups at the same time. There are many a times that I've been thinking that I can actually get these guys, and uh, I run into a group of like twice or three times the size I was used to. Alright, let's see. Is this going to let me couch it? This is not going to let me couch it. Oh! Yeah, I could probably use a lamp. This spear is okay, but... Stab you right there. Man, this is sluggish. This is a crappy horse. Crappy riding skill. Ooh, but I got a, I got a point in tactics. Go me. Man, these are the toughest... Bandits, if I got a spear shoved right into my chest from somebody on a horse, I don't know, man. Oh, well, there we go. Well done, other people. Well, ouch. I'm going to take these two guys with me. There's no reason to take the, uh, the people. Let's see here. Tailored rough tide bracers? Sure. Ooh, worn cavalier boots? Done, no problem. Once again, you also lose all this stuff at the end of the tutorial, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Just stopped in the middle of this lovely clearing. All right, everybody. Not a one breathing! You heard the lady. Positioning, facing, all these things are important because you can ride your uh, your horses around when the people are going around. You can ride around them and attack from behind, and you're much less likely to get hit by a sword or something like that because they just can't see you. Like this guy. Hey, I'm up to skill riding of nine. Riding skill of nine. That's good. That's way more than I had. Quit throwing rocks. Didn't anyone tell you otherwise? There you go. Whole arms now 32. The more skill points you put into something, the faster you're going to advance. Whenever you do anything on a horse, shoot or uh, stab from it, you gain points. And if you're doing this on the main map, riding a horse around, you'll get riding skill, which I thought was really I'm going to take you. I'm going to leave those guys. Ooh. Wax cheap paddings. 
Oh, yeah. Those look like cheap paddings. Let's see here. Splintered Knobbed Club. Unbalanced Highland Club. This club has problems. Leather shoes, all that stuff. Oh, this is great. I wish I could keep all this stuff, but I can't. Oh, but I can do this. Please, when you're playing, don't forget to do this. Go to your character and immediately start trying to put in some stuff so you can you can uh, get your better experience points. So, uh, I'm only going to use using uh, pole arms while mounted. Athletics. I'm always going to go with this one. So you get to choose between the two once you get to the learning limit. Um, morning exercise. Increase your movement speed. That's always great, but maximum hit points because all of your followers also get maximum hit points. So I've got two that I can put in. I'm going to put one in steward because I'm going to need that later. I'm going to put one in bow. Now, a lot of people will tell you that that's a foolish thing to do and you really shouldn't be spreading out your, your attack skills like that, but uh, I don't care because I'm going to be playing what I hope to be an all-around character. I saw you. I love how they just kind of sit there in the middle of the road and they're like, hey. Charge! Charge. As you can tell, when you attack is just as important. Is, uh, it gets dark. Ooh, that was a nice one. If you look to the left at the bottom, it tells you where you hit them. And I hit that man in the head with my spear. Just putting that out there. In the head with my spear. No big deal. There we go. That was a shoulder shot. Not bad. I can't see these guys. Oh, there he is. And still, he's... Whoa. Is that it? Oh, that's it. There we go. Amicia Nathanos. Not bad. I just I wish you could keep this. You rescued several prisoners that the raiders had been dragging along. They looked parched and exhausted. You give them a bit of water and bread, and after a short while, uh, one stranger staggers to his feet. Sorry, one staggers to his feet and comes over to I don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. These Ooh. brigands would have marched us to our deaths. I was with a caravan, and they just came out of the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive, if just for the ransom. But then they started flogging us along at top speed, without any water, and I was just about ready to drop. I think that just means they've made them run. Unless they were actually hitting them with whips, which is not good. I could feel the signs of heat stroke creeping up, and I told them, but they just flogged me more. If your okay, group so hadn't come along, maybe I have a way to thank you properly. We're looking for two children captured by the raiders. Can you tell us anything? I'm afraid I haven't seen any children. But after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they call Radagos, took and rode off with our more valuable belongings, including a chest that I had. And since I have nothing of value left to repay your help, I'll tell you this. If you do catch up with and defeat that ruffian, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be of great value if you knew where to sell it. I was trying to find out more about it, but, as I say, I've had all my urge for travelling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think I'd venture more than 20 paces from a well as long as I live. We'll keep that in mind. It doesn't look like much, and I suspect this lot will give it away for a few coins. But I got it from a mercenary whom I treated once, and he swore it was related to Neretzi's folly. 
I don't know what that means, except that Neretes was, of course, the Emperor who died in battle some years back. Maybe you could find out its true value. Hmm. Well, let's take out this headless uh, hideout. I think we're on the right path, aren't you? Oh! Oh, I was out outside of the uh, acceptable place, so my brother took over. Attack! All right. Trick is to have them follow you. Don't forget to have them follow you. Ooh, and uh, I don't have a shield, so that's not going to be the best thing, because these guys can throw rocks and spears, like Ewoks. And if rocks can, and sticks can take out the uh, Imperial Walkers, that's not good for me. We got a little bit better armor, so, moving through. When you're doing this, do not forget, if the heavier your troops are, the slower they're going to move, and they're going to be farther behind you. I don't know, Taco. I was thinking about that, the whole shoulder hit thing. It just sounds like it would be a lot more painful, because you've got to keep fighting with a shoulder hit. Huh. Once again, I do love the way they set up these bad guy bases. Eventually, I think I'm going to come up and see some bad guys. Who knows, though? Hmm. Oh, hey. Are you a bad guy? Because I'd like to stab you. Oh. Oof. Yeah, even this is freebooter. This is like the easiest difficulty. This is like the easiest difficulty for like fighting and stuff. And I'm still getting you can get chunk taken out of you. So first things first, I gotta get me a shield. I'm also going to find a bow. That'd be great too. There you go. So, moving the camera, or just in general moving, when you're hitting, actually causes more damage. When I do that, that little twisting thing with the camera, it actually makes it uh, hit harder. There you go. Oh, I love this fight stuff right here. So, who's this that comes through my place of business, killing my employees? We heard you took our little brother and sister. Where are Good they? Heaven. I'll need a better description than that. My men have harvested dozens of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them off to a slave market, I know, though. Since your hunt for your kin is fruitless, how about you clear off and save your own lives? Either that, or I'll force you to lick up all the blood you've spilled here with your tongues. Or That's graphic. you and I could settle this one on one. I don't duel slavers. Men attack. <laughs> Give you a chance to win? Hell no. Don't need that. Oh, I'd love to keep all of this. Especially the fish, but no can do. Well, I recognize defeat when I see it. If I'm going to be your captive, let me introduce myself. I'm Radagos. You haven't cut my throat yet, which was a wise move. I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more to you alive than dead. 
You'd better help us get our brother and sister back, or you'll swing from a tree. Ah, you'll need my help, all right, if you want to get them back alive, that is. See, my boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there's a rescue attempt. Shall we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion or drown in some river, that's it for your little dears. I don't expect a cosy palanquin now, but you best not make it too hard a trip for me. Is that how you say palanquin? Palanquin? I don't know how to say it. If I haven't, if I haven't, if I'm saying it wrong, I've been saying it wrong for 16 years of educating other people, so that's bad. You come across a chest with an old piece of bronze in it. It's so battered and corroded that it could have been anything from a cup to a crown. This must be the chest Taktios was uh, mentioned to you that has something to do with Neritzi's folly. I don't know what that is. I was hoping to find more treasure here, but I think business wasn't going too well for Radagos and his gang. Mm. I found this strange looking metal piece though. It doesn't look too valuable, but it could be the artifact Taktios was talking about. Maybe Tactics. we can sell it to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. All right, then let's get on the road. I have a better idea. We would have a better chance if we split up now. I'll take Radagos and go find the slaver market and look for a way to free the children. However, we must be careful not to endanger their lives, and it could be better to just buy them. We need to have our purses full for that, though. Okay. I'll need to take these men with us. Radagos is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. So you want me to raise the money to ransom the little ones? Indeed. You'll have to find a way to do that. Maybe this bronze thing can help. Mm. Takteo said it could be worth a fortune to the right person, if you manage not to get killed. If he's telling the truth, you must be careful. Never reveal that you have it, but try to understand its value and how it can be sold. One more thing. When you are talking to nobles and other people of importance, make sure you present yourself as someone from uh, a distant but distinguished family. You can use our family name if you like, or make up a new one. You will have a better chance of obtaining an audience with nobles, and it'll be easier for me to find you by asking around. Petrides. Artemisia Petrides. Which means basically, daughter of Petros. Get on the road now. Once I locate the little ones, I'll come find you. Whoa. I could hear his voice in my head. We are going to go with the ram. All right, Taco. What color should we go with? We can make the ram bigger. There you go. What do you think? I do like blue, but I've done blue a lot. Ooh, that's nice. What do you think? That feels pretty good. Blue and gold? I think I can change it later if I want to. White? Ooh, blue and white? That feels good. Let's go with that one. Now it's just us. Had been Orthos was lost. Hey, look at that. Down at the bottom. All right. Kills one-handed. All right, so we're going to do deflect. One-handed weapons you wield have their handling increased by 20%. Troops in this formation. Look, always look at the second one. Whenever you're picking stuff, look at the second one because that's the one that's really going to be useful. So, speaking of useful, I don't want to die. So let's see if Tevea has anybody who'd be willing to come along with us. Nope. Not uncommon. Well, let's see if Lycaron does. Alright, I can start with this. Let's get some food for my men. Oh, that's really expensive. We got enough food to get somewhere real quick. Got two days worth of food, no big deal. I don't have a lot of space to go. Oh, sorry. What I meant to do was this. 
Let's uh, see if I can find myself a cheap bow. No. No such thing. Let's see here. Kite shield? No, no, Lord. There we go. Lordly Brown Kite Shield. So now, now we've got a kite shield. Good for both being on the ground and on a horse. And we will... Well, hell, if we're going to do this, we might as well just... That'll work. All right. Let's see if we can go this way a little bit. Hello. Wow. There must be a war going on. There must be a war going on because they don't usually have so few people around. Oh. Oh, let's see how we do. 31, 31 bandits, no thank you. However, looters. Looters we can deal with. We're not looking for a fight. And yet, you found one. Neither am I if you surrender otherwise. All right. The trick with these battles is to get them there, to keep your men safe, you've got to try to limit the number of guys coming at them. So that means you take them out as much as you can, go around, either harass them with a bow and arrow, or with a spear, but keep mobile. You no matter what kind of build you're doing, riding at the beginning is going to be very useful. These guys can overwhelm smaller groups no problem, and if you can take down a few of them, so much the better. There you go. There you go. Well done. I said to myself, so 1.2 renown. Our goal, let's take a look at our goals in just a second. What about the morale? Let's talk about that. So what is morale? Morale is going to help you keep your troops fighting longer. If they have low morale and they get hit by a particularly large or powerful group, they will panic and leave. Let's see here. So, investigating the Red Sea's folly, I gotta talk to ten different nobles that are everywhere throughout Calradia. Establish your clan. Increase your dinars by a thousand, so I need two thousand total. Grow your party to twenty men. Okay, reach clan tier one. I'm six out of fifty for that one, and hire one companion. These things are doable, but they're gonna take a while. There's a bandit hideout, but I ain't messing with forest bandits right now. Those guys are not to be messed with. All right, so this is going to be... I made it a little bit harder to uh, recruit people, so that's going to actually make it more sporadic to do. All right. Don't want to escort a merchant carrot. So check this out right up here. Quality of life thing. If you look at the bottom, the issue that they have, escort merchant caravan, you can see without having to actually talk to them, which is actually kind of useful. Wow, nobody. Monica. Sakanian so of Annika needs help with brigands. Oh, okay. Hey, so who are you then? My name is Artemisia, sir. May I ask your name? I am Sakanian. I own land around here. I speak for many of the people in this village. I'll remember your name. I heard you may need some help with a problem. Yes, we've always had trouble with bandits, but recently we've had a lot more than our share. The hills outside of Tyner, of town are infested in. A lot of us are afraid to take their goods to market. Some have been murdered. People tell me I'm getting des people tell me I'm getting desperate. Maybe I'll turn bandit myself. It's bad. So you want me to hunt them down? Well, my lady, you'll never get all those outlaws. But if word gets around that you took down some of those vicious ones, let's say two bands of brigands, robbing us wouldn't seem so lucrative. Maybe the rest would go bother someone else. Do you think you can help us? It depends. How many men do you think are required to get the job done? 
I bet even a party of ten properly trained men accompanied by one of your lieutenants can handle any band they find. Give them six days, say. That will make a difference. I'll hunt down two. So what's great is you can actually take these things and have your lieutenants, your companions, do the, the job. It's great. Very good. I'll be waiting for the good news then. Once you return, I'm ready to offer a reward of 550 dinars. Just make sure you defend at least, defeat at least two bands no more than a day's ride away from here. Fair enough. You've got cheap grain. And there you go. Take that. Let's see if we can hunt down some people. Not those people, though. That's 16. That's not good. Oh. The Vigla become equites. Riders. Let's see what we can do. I need... Ooh. Zionica's got a tournament. Join the tournament. Melee group fight. There's one lord with an hour of fighting skills. Given this turnout, the organizer is offering a spatha for the victor. That's a sword. I'll take it. Not a problem. Ah, yes. So you gotta aim just above your target with the throwing. Or try to actually aim at all. Good lord, I'm awful with this right now. Of course, this guy's also got hella good arm. What? No, no, no. Sword. Oh yeah, that... The, the sweet falling, the crazy falling. Yeah. If they hit your horse, you just go, you go down. Alright, let's see if we can find somebody's, uh... There we go! You can grab... Javelins. And I'm gonna grab Javelins. Oh, right in your face! 55 damage. The problem with being on foot and having the other horses is that the horses are very, very tough. You gotta get through them, they move so much faster. Oh, oh sorry, dude. Oh, sorry, horsey. There we go. Skip the round of there. Ooh, I'm gonna bet a little bit on this. On a one-on-one -on -one fight, I'm gonna bet on me. Let's go with 40. Here we go. Come on! I don't even have good armor. Oof. That's an equite. That's a rider. Oof. Me versus a legionary? Ooh, those guys have really good armor. Now, if this weren't freebooter, that would mean something. I want that spot though. I'm going to win that Spatha. Boom. Now those guys are some of the best ground troops in the game. That's the thing. Oh, me versus Thephalos. Alright. Ah, oh, I should have bet. I can take Thephalos. One on one. I'm good to go. There we go. Thephalus. And you're done, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Three renown, a Spatha, and 209 bucks. This is a Spatha. Alright, so let's go see what I can get. Oh. 64 cut. Mm-hmm. Not as fast, and the handling's a little bit down, but way heavier and way better to hit with. Very nice. 
All right, let's trade. Iron spot that can get me 350 bucks. Can I get some more food for my people? Don't need that. Let's see what I can do otherwise. Uh, yeah, hard to get what we need. Let's take a look at armor. Cotton hood, lightweight padded coif. Might be worth it. Leather tunic. Leather tunic. I will take a leather tunic. I will sell the military tunic. Leather tunic is good. And I only have to pay 165 for it. You gotta be careful in the beginning because you will not realize how much you're spending on everything. Oh, let's see here. Go to the tavern district. Nope, no one to worry about. Alright, Artemisia. Let's go find those two groups. Now you have a morale penalty for only having one type of food, but you gotta get money somewhere. Oh god, there's those guys again. They're not too keen to fight me. And Lord knows I could probably take them if I try. Two 16 levels? Good lord. Oh, there's a six. Recruit troops. Hmm. Let's take the Beagles. The trick is you got to be careful because you've also got to... Okay, see? Look what happened to the top right. Not only am I fighting looters, but those those other guys have joined in. So what I've got to do is I've got to ride down the forest bandits as fast as possible. Because the forest bandits are the ones that are the most deadly. My sumter horse does not go fast enough to actually capture this bad boy. Oh, and that's the thing, too. If they stop you, they can hit you. If they stop your horse... Now I've just got recruits. I'm going to tell them to engage because hopefully they'll engage with these guys first. And I'm going to try to get these bandits as fast as possible because otherwise they're going to make mincemeat out of my guys. They're going to kill them before they even get a chance to get up there. Boom, there's a bushwhacker down. See, as you can see in the top right, the red's starting to hit. That's what's happening to my guys because of the forest bandits. Forest bandits are range. Range troops are the hardest. I can take step bandits. I can take desert bandits. Mountain bandits. Everyone's fine except for those forest ones. Those guys are the toughest ones. 2.0 renown. Good. If you beat a superior force or what's perceived as a superior force. Oh, heck yeah. Do I have enough to turn them all into... 120? Yes, worth it. Because now I have infantrymen. Oh, here we go. Fine arm wraps. I was kind of hoping for a bow, but that's not going to happen, it seems. Skill point and charm. Oh, and they count. It counts as two, because they both came together. Okay, okay. That's 550 bucks. Look at me go. Very slowly. Oof. Let's see if Poros has anybody else for me. Actually, that won't be a big problem. Oh, the night won't be a big problem. I'll bet you. Oh, hold on. Oh, the looter wants to join? Hell no. Looter scum. Speaking of looter scum. You best back off. There's dozens more of us hiding. Just waiting for our signal. Nice try. Surrender or die. Once again, go 
going to try and soften these guys up just a little bit. I'll let them come to me. Now they've all got shields. My guys can... Minimal damage. I can heal this no problem. Hey, I gained a level. That's awesome. So here we go. Ah, dang it, that hurts. I mean, I can feel it just thinking about getting hit by a rock like that. Oh, God. Just a slight... The fact that you gotta be dead on, excuse the expression, with these hits kills me sometimes. This thing is randomly very immersive. Alright, so I'm gonna tell them to get into a shield wall. And that way the rocks aren't gonna be a big a problem. There we go. There we go. The trick is about finding ways to mitigate the number of people. Because it's a, a big thing about this game is numbers. If you got big enough numbers, oh, let's them get them, guys. Bingo. And that's how it's done. Oh, hell no. You think you're getting away, bud? No. God, this horse sucks. Sumter horses are the slowest horses in the game, except for work horses. There are, if you're interested, also. Oh, he disappeared. That's not bad. If you fight groups that are larger than yourself, you get extra points. Oh. And he thought he got away. That's cute. Here we go. Come on. I bet you I can take this guy down. No help needed. Except for my slow horse. Alright. First order of business. Either get some throwing weapons. That's what I should have grabbed. I should have grabbed some... Uh... Throwing weapons... Get some throwing weapons, or... Hold on, what am I doing? Ghost Engage. With them! Or a bow. I can take either one at this time. So, the difference between engage and charge. Charge, they all run out, no problem. It goes, it's pell-mell. There's no real structure. They just charge. Um, engage. Engage is a little bit different. Ooh, that spot looks cool. world's crappiest horse. There we go. Hell yeah. That's not an additional 2.1 renown. That's the 2.1 renown I got earlier. Got some fish, got some date fruit, got some grain. All good stuff. All sellable stuff, too. All right, let's keep going. I thought I was wants me to go and figure out what's going on with Naretsi's folly. Naretsi's folly, and I need cash. I'll take them. Buy products? No, I'll just sell you my products. Horn wrap shoes, shoes. Ooh. There we go. Arm wraps. Ripped commoner shirt. Torn robe. Sleeveless. Ba -ba -ba. Date fruit. Careful. They can't buy more than they've got, so. I don't want him. I want uh, more 
Other people. That sounds smart. More other people. I want more other people. Oh. The yeah, chorus needs tools. Oi, sorry, I don't think I know you. My name is Artemisia. I'm Emerus. I've lived all my life here, working the land. I'm not going to read all these all the time, I promise you. A lot of people here in Neo Neocorus, the common farmers and craftsmen like me, they like me to speak for them. One thing you should know, if you cross me, you'll regret it. Thank you, Emerus. I heard you may need some help with a problem. We do have some problems. The sickness passed through here last month. Praise the heavens, only a few people died, but many were weakened and we couldn't get much work done. Now we need to hire some laborers from nearby settlements to make up the shortfall, but we don't have the tools for them. We're in a bit of a rush. Do you think you could find tools for us? Basically, he needs tools. I can handle this myself. He's going to give me cash for those tools. These people sell horses. And this is what happens. You buy horses, and your group will go faster. You buy a mule or two, and you can carry a lot more stuff. I'm going to do that and sell all this other crap so that I can pay less. And now I've got horsies, and I will move faster. And I've got just enough, I think, to go and buy some tools. But that doesn't matter. Because I saw a group of, well, let's call them soon-to-be new friends. Back off, stranger, unless you want trouble. Dude, I will take you any day this week. Let's do this. Soft them up with a little bit of approach, and then I'm going to let my guys do their thing. We're going to do a real skirmish this time, I think. Need them to gain more ability. The reason I like... Ow, dang it. The reason I like the Imperials so much is that their infantry... Ow, that sucks. You know what? I'm tired of this crap. Boys, we're going to take this on. I like the Imperials because their infantry eventually gets um, throwing weapons. And so they have this wonderful ability to soften up the enemy before they even get there. Goodbye, crappy horse. Alright, boys. Engage. You'll notice it gets, it gets close quarters pretty quickly, and if you're not careful... Bent hoe. Got fine wrap shoes. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Arm wraps. Not as good as my fine arm wraps. Perfect. I'll take the rest too. Let's do this. Let's see what these guys do. Alsasos. Alsasos? He needs help with brigands. Hi. So who are you? I heard you may have a problem. I'll hunt them down. I'll hunt down two pounds of brigands for you for 550 bucks. Hell, I'll do that. No problem. I need cash because my guys are going to get uh, horses soon enough. The trick is you got to make sure you're, you're watching out for the, number, the amount of food that you have. Uh... You got to keep and I'd on all this stuff. Where you're at, how much you have, your daily wages. There's a lot to this game. This is a really good sim game. Where are the bad guys? Look, let's try Jalamus and see if they've got tools. Let's see here. Trade. Tools? Ugh, that's a lot for tools. I'm good. Oh, shoot. Let's get this stuff right here. Pilgrim Hood? No, I'm good. You can always sell your stuff in one of the big cities. 
which has a tournament. But the winner will receive a leather armor. Man, I, I just got one, but I'll, I'll see it. If this, if this leather armor is better than the leather armor I got. Hmm. And it most certainly is. Let's do this. All right, the two-on-twos are a pain in the butt because if you're not careful, they'll gang up on you. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you get stuck with two-on-one, they're going to kill you because the game is not particularly fair like that. It's much harder to win when it's two-on-one. This isn't the smartest thing. No quarter for the craven! Indeed, no quarter for the craven. Let's try this again. Oh, oh, this one's a hard one. If you're not careful, try to drag them off. Get them extracted to the side. Or just take out the weakest one as fast as possible. If you don't... Ooh. All right, you and me, Sergeant Crossbowman, let's do this. There we go. All right. Oh, I should have been betting. Here's a tip, bet. When you know you got a sure thing or it's one of these one-on-one -on -one fights, by all means. If you're playing on the early difficulties, then by all means, definitely bet on yourself. Always bet on yourself. Leather armor. Let's see if I need it. Or if I can sell it. How much does it sell for? $6.99? Ooh, it's not even that good in a leg armor. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. Oh, that's badass. Yeah, I'm keeping that. I'm going to keep the leather tunic because the people you, you get to work with you uh, don't always come with good armor. But that, yeah, that's pretty badass. I'm keeping that. Hello. All right, my Vigla recruits. No, my Imperial recruits. Just the one? All right, that'll work. Let's go see if we can find some more bad guys. Oh, did I buy the tools? Hold on. Did I buy the tools? No, of course not. That would be smart. I got excited by the... by everything else and did not buy tools. No, I didn't like the tools. We're not going to go there. We're going to Rotate. Hmm, this looks like they're at war. Oh, and Rotate has one. See what this guy wants. No, I'm not going to escort a bunch of kids. What you got? Let's go here. Tools for 197, I can deal with that. Well, let's see what they've got. Join the tournament. Brown kettle over cloth. Oh, definitely. I'm going to get decked out. In the beginning, if you need weapons and armor, may I suggest tournaments. If you lose, no big deal. If you win, you get great, great equipment. And of course, it's a way of practicing your skills without getting hurt. Ah. My goal is to help my bud here. And I know someone's throwing it up. still in. Oh, good, because that was terrible. I looked awful doing that. Better armor, though. Ooh, you can flank him. Always flank him. Oh, not this time. Hold on. We're going to bet. We're gonna bet the full amount. I'm 
but that much I can beat you. So. Ooh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Hey, you got something right on your face. Oh. Bosor. This is the Lord you were talking about. Let's do this, man. Rest like an adorable little legionnaire monster. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Round kettle over cloth, and I'm good. Round kettle over cloth, and I'm good. What are we going to do with that? Well, as my noggin is still completely... Oh, that's a lot of money, though. Much better. Now I'm probably not going to die that easily. Let's see here. Trade... I bought the tools, right? Right. Let's go back to... This. Oh! Nope. So, if you can get them to, to count for the, uh... To get the brigands quest, they'll have a little exclamation point. You know what? I've, I've gained a level, so let's take a look at this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so we're gonna up charm. We're going to up steward, steward, not steward. And I've been using a hell of a lot of throwing lately, so I'm going to go with throwing. And let's go with... Social. All right. Numerous. It's talk. been a while. About the task you gave me, I brought your tools. One Cantarian Charger from the Ocarus. Cantarian Charger is a much better horse that I cannot ride yet. Because I have craftastic riding skill. Oh, let's see here. There we go. I'm telling you right now, I'm looking for brigands. I don't see any brigands. I see those brigands. Mess with us. Buddy. Oh, I feel a hell of a lot better. Onward! I don't know, I gotta check and see if my weapon can actually couch, because if you can couch Lance, you actually get a lot more damage off. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how we're doing with this. Come on. Oh. That's how we hit hard. Oh my goodness. Getting that renown, that sweet, sweet renown. Trick is though, unfortunately, um, all these prisoners can actually slow you down. So you want to be careful with that. I want to see if I can get another horse, because this is... Buy products. I would like a product, please. Nope, nope, nope. Midland's Palfrey? Yeah, I'm gonna buy and equip that bad boy. And probably one more. So I gotta move quickly so I can make some cash. Remember, you don't want to be stuck without money because they will desert. Your people will desert and you spend all that time making them better. And they will desert. Come on. Come on, brigands. Oh, there you are. Ah, oh, it's forest bandits. 
You know what? Sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet. I don't care. Surrender or die. Fine. All right, boys. Shield We're gonna make a shield wall. We're gonna engage. They're gonna move slowly. But those shields are gonna keep the. Uh, Nope, this isn't a couching weapon, but see how much faster? I got a Midlands Palfrey, and I'm moving way faster. Way faster. Which means I'm going to do more we more damage with that. Oof. Much faster. This is a much better horse. Some horses suck. That was not what I hoped to do. I hit him with my horse. I don't know if that's a legal maneuver, but I hit him in my horse. Missed that. Oh, there they go. Shield formation works really, really well in this. And if you can just run into people, they'll not be able to shoot for a second. And as always, if you can take some people out, that's the best way to help you guys. Oh, there we go. No, no, keep looking at me. I'm the other guys behind you. Renown's just piling up, man. Use some archers. Get them bushwhackers. Simple scimitar. Swing speed's faster. Tailored wrapped arm guards. Still not as good as my farm as my my fine arm wraps. Ooh, I won. You want to do charm because charm's gonna go up every single time you finish a, a, a quest. Maneuvering, always maneuvering. I don't even have a single point in writing. That's probably why it's taking forever to do it. All right, so let's go see what else we can see. Hold on. He's gonna need, oh, just, oh. No, he just needs cash. He's already got a horse. No, it requires a mount. Requires a mount. That's no problem. I'll just go buy some more mounts. Midlands Palfrey. You gotta have enough at least for your troops. So let's keep moving this way. Let's take a tour of the... Can I? Hell yeah. Neither am I. Let's surrender or nothing. Attack. Standard thing again with forest bandits, you are going to hold on. Raise your shield shields! Wall. Move Engage. Forward! And this little thing is gonna go to market. See, they're already getting hit by the arrows. The guy in the back is a much more much tougher guy. I can hit him. Boom. I've got their attention. The AI is going to um, prioritize mounted units. I think just about in any iteration of the game, any difficulty you play on, they're gonna they're gonna prioritize mounted units. Oh that was a headshot. That was beautiful. Ooh. Fancy. I'm keeping those arrows in case I can get a bow. That's what I'm definitely going to do. 
polearm. Ooh, I've got a second level in polearm. Brace. Polearm attacks that can dismount. Ignore 50% dismount resistance. Infantry troops in the formation you're leading. Which increase by 10% against enemy cavalry. Cavalry. Polearm thrusts. Increase militia recruitment and govern settlements by plus point zero point five. I'm going to take that one. That's our goal as Imperials, right? Better garrisons and such, right? Where are you? Uh. What do you need? Access to the commons. Yeah, that involves possibly hurting people that are innocent. Not a fan. Bestos! Ah, oh, good lord. Guys need to get your crap together. So I am just going to take a tour of the Empire. Now that... That's a group I can sink my teeth into. We're just harmless travelers. <laughs> Liar. Let's take him out. Alright, gentlemen. Engage. Oh! See, you gotta be careful. If they get you stopped, they'll take wax at you. Oh! They, they get better at it. They get really good at it for some strange reason. Now that's awesome. I know what you're thinking. Why aren't I going back through and like upgrading these guys? And the answer is no, thank you. Not yet. Don't have enough money to maintain them if I did. So let's keep going. Legata, I think. Legata, I think. Grant's Lance. Western Empire. Mm hmm. Oh, someone's fighting Batania right now. You can tell by the ruined city. Oh, Lagata's got Lagata's got a tournament. Don't mind if I do. Let's see here. The Vintner, Escort Mare Caravan, nope. Gang leader needs weapons. I don't have enough ability for that yet. Hmm. Well, might be time to start getting me some arrow guys. You know, arrow guys. What are they called? Archers, that's it. All right. Now, the closer you get to some places, the closer you're going you're to realize that they uh, they have other groups, armors, weapons, horses, stuff like that. Woven leather bracers, huh? Ooh. So, let's see if I can diversify my food just a little bit. Got grain. Now we got fish. And also grapes. And also olives. And that's going to actually increase my... Ooh. All right. Show me your horses. Now, why did I buy all of those Imperial Riding Harness? No, that's not what I need. Striped Leather Harness. Light Saddle. Ooh. Okay. Why did I take all those hogs? Because I'm going to have a penalty to my movement. Herd, right? Zero. Nice. First off, let's go to the Tavern District. Nope. Tavern District. Ooh, Janav the Spice Vendor. 
Hold on. Let me ransom my prisoners real quick. That's 100 bucks cash. And gets you roguery points, which are disturbingly overpowered. Do you have the spice vendor? Pop into your encyclopedia. Go down to Wanderer. Do you have the spice vendor? She's got Steward of 100, Trade of 102, Crossbow, One Handed. Oh, and she's only 28? I will, um. I'll see if I can defend a quarter. This is the tavern. I. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. My name is Artemisia, madam. Tell me about yourself. I can tell you my story. If you spend time among merchants, I suppose you'll hear it anyway. Told as a cautionary tale. Complete with a great deal of moralizing and tut-tutting. My father was a merchant. When he died, he left his children a small inheritance. Most of it went to my brothers. They headed east to the lands of Padisha, leaving me in charge of our interest in Calradia. For me to step into my father's shoes and be treated as an equal by other merchants, I knew I had to make a lot of money in a short time when they would elbow me out of my market. I had the opportunity to buy pepper from another trader who was selling at a discount and needed cash. I, of course, inspected the pepper in its storage. I interviewed the, uh, the watchman at the warehouse. You can trust us, madam, they said. Rest assured, your pepper is in good hands. But one of them kept a brazier lit at night for the warmth, and a camel kicked it into a bed of straw when he was off relieving himself. When he returned, that warehouse was in flames, and so I became penniless. Merchants takes risks. I'm sorry. It, uh, it turned out so badly for you. Well, even now, I feel I made a wise choice to buy the pepper. Wise, but unlucky. Such is fortune. Had I not seized the opportunity, other merchants would have mocked me, a woman who lacked the daring to succeed the man's trade. Instead, they mock a rash woman who lacked a man's judgment. And here I am, looking for work. I could use you. 493, that's a steal. For her, that's a steal. That's a steal. All these people will talk to you, too. They talk about their lords. They talk about everybody. Prices are high and getting higher. So you can sit there and learn all this stuff from them. And you just leave. It's great. So now I've got... Her. I've got Janab. Maybe the leather tunic. Give her the fine arm wraps. And she's only got a sword, so I'm gonna need to get her some stuff, but check this out. So with the hog. You kill them for the meat, and you've got the hides as well. And the hogs I bought for 48, so that is worth way more. So we're gonna trade again. And now I'm gonna trade the hides. And I'm going to get a lot of money back. Let's see here. Ranged weapons. Simple light crossbow is way too expensive, but I can come back and get it. So they don't really have a lot of... So simple javelin or horseman javelin? Nah. Simple javelin. I'm going to get that throwing going. Her, we're going to get you a shield. Not much, but it'll keep you alive. It'll keep you alive. And now it saves. I bet I can win the Ligeta Arena. Join the tournament. Akosian for the victor. Akosian is a very expensive horse. That could be a huge amount of money for me. Oof. You need 90 to ride it, so it ain't, you know, it's not something I'm going to ride myself, but there you go. All right. definitely upgrade my military make us far more far more impressive
There you go, Faya. Where are you going? Don't run. Don't run. Wow. Oof. Oh, I'll eat your wrong. I didn't know what you were saying. There you go. I'll take that. You come here. Come here. Oh, come on. I got faster than Spatha. There you go. That guy's got good armor. Is that Men of Latian? Men of Latian? Oof. I'm about to lose my horse. And that's Fostor, and he's done. Oh, another big group battle. There you go. Double elimination, man. Who's this chump? Wham! 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 There we go. Hey, just stand right there for me. Oh, we're gonna bet on this one, I think. We're gonna bet on this one. Let's keep going. Uh, come on. There you go. I can't ride the Cossian. No way in hell I can ride the Cossian, so I'm going to trade the Cossian for $14,000. And that is how you make money at the beginning, my friends. That is how you make money at the beginning. And you buy a little bit more of everything, and you have all the meat. And the more you have, the more food you have, the better off everything is. Can I sell it at Rotai for 267? Hell yeah. I'm gonna buy some tools just in case I don't get that. Whoa. That's a lot of everything. I've got Millen's Palfrey, but I can use a Batanian hobby. Hmm. Melee weapons. Light cavalry lance. Boom. She can use ranged. She likes crossbows. Light bolts. All right, I'm still getting 6,000 bucks. That is how we do it. There's gotta be a war going on. You're probably like, well, yeah, isn't that like half the game? And the answer is, yeah, well, yeah. Increase my writing. Let's see if I can find some of these jokers. Brothers looking for our, our, our brothers and sister. And let's see what we're doing here.
Orticia. Orticia has a wonderful little thing going on. Let's see what they got armor wise. Let's see here, iron plate pauldrons. Ooh. Ooh. Price is right, too. Had admittance? Don't mind if I do. Let's get you a better helmet. Cap. And there you go. He's there, said Darnus. Yeah. Oh, hello, everybody. All right. Let's go to the arena and see what's going on there. Join the tournament. Neck guard with bronze plate pauldrons. Great, I'll just switch it out. That's what I want. Oh, bow. Sometimes you get the rough end of the stick, excuse the expression. Well, I still Got him. Ah. Whoop. Hey, Chuckles, you upset? You look upset. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. That was fun. All right, skip this round. Oh, Bo again. He went down. Ooh, baby. You gotta swing fast, you gotta swing hard, and you gotta go. Alright. Oh, that's my person. Alright, fun fact. Did you know that if you play and your other person and the other person that's on your team wins the match, you actually win the match. You win the stuff. They'll get the renown, but you'll get the goods. Oh, Janam, I'm so sorry. Acceptable. Let's see what they get. Fencing sold the goods. Gang leader needs weapons. No, thank you. Well, I've got... Hold on. Oh, hell yeah. So I've got some crossbow. Let's see. Yeah, I've got crossbow and I got bow. Athletics. Let's see here. Decreases your armor weight. Tier 3. Gain 4. For troops, one foot your weapon handling is increased by 10%. Uh, there, that'll help out, and uh, that'll really help out in all the arenas and stuff like that. All right. Let's see here. Let 
Legendary reinforced stud and hardness. I mean, that's stupid to go back, right? It's just an aesthetic thing. Let's see if I can get her something better. Leather armor? No. Boar skin leather coat? Oh, hell yeah. I can give her that. No. No, I can't. All right. Let's see what else we got. So there are people riding around that should be able to tell me about Neritzi's Farley. Oh, I got this. Well, good Talk. day to you. This guy needs. This guy needs tools. I've got extra tools. Cantarian Charger that I cannot use yet. Let's go to Kiaz. Let's go to the desert. All oh, right, because there's. All right, let's see what we've got. Trade. Let's go down to oil. I only bought it for. Oh goodness, yes. Wine. Let's see here. Oil. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get his skill pointer. Hooray. The cure of the brewer. Can't get that. Trade. No, I'm good. Wait a minute. Is that a camel? Ah. Oh, pack camels are cool. Why don't we get more Sumter horses? And then... Two more Nanasawi? Yes. Nanasawi. So I can actually upgrade my riders. Two, three, four, five. All right. Imperial recruit. You're going to be an archer. Let's go do some fun stuff. Let's kick some butts around here. See what we can do. See if anybody needs help. There we go. Now my steward's 11. Art of the trade. Oh, Peace this is a fun one. So basically what happens is you can get a really good amount of stuff. 17 barrels of olives. Seems like a simple errand. If you're not, I'll find the right market for your olives. I'll buy them from you. Always buy them from them. If you can. So you win the thing. And then you can make your own money. Let's see if I can find uh, some other people. Oh, hello. Looters, let's go. Let's go. You best back off. There's dozens more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so now we've got enough people that there are. So now the spice vendor is going to be taking care of those guys. And I'm going to be taking care of the riders. Okay. So basically, I'm going to tell everybody except them guys, to engage. These guys, you're going to follow me. So now, I've got a lance I can couch. Check this out. Put it down. And you can do 200, 300 damage to these people. Oh. Come on, guys. Problem is, you got to move them fast out of there. That's the only acceptable thing. You gotta move them fast out. Alright, couch it again. And if you can couch it, you can get really good writing and hold arm skill. Alright, 
Hell yeah, that was great. So I've got a person who can do steward and all that stuff. So she'll be great if I can get a settlement. I'm sorry, I can speak his language. Oh, I love this game. Oh, I don't need the Azurai. I do, however, want your Sumter horses. And your cheap Nahasawi for getting more of the Imperial troops. Because I'm a daughter of the Empire. And that's what I'm going to do. So I have actually got a detriment on the sands and dunes. Back off, stranger! I don't have horse bumming, do I? How do I have a horse bumming? Who's who's the horse? Bum? Oh, when did she get a? Oh, she got a horse on her. No. Attack! We're just gonna charge. We're just gonna charge. There's no reason not to charge. That's embarrassing. that renown slowly. I'm going to go back. I'm still going to take this. We're still at such a low level. But we're still going to take everything given to us. Uh, I'm going to change this. Oh. Oh, she's always had that. Okay. So, it's an old Sumter horse. An old Sumter horse. Just, you know, don't hate, don't hate me. Just know that I had to take care of that old Sumter horse. Sorry. Mm. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh. They're getting better. So if I'm healing myself, I get medicine. Ooh, Sonala has... Oh, what's it called? Join the tournament. Heavy ring mail. Oh, definitely going to do that. We're definitely going to go for the heavy ring mail. in here. That's great. Alright, come on. Oh, this is the hard part. Just moving over to where they are. That's why you need athletics. So you can move faster. Remember how I told you? Not a good idea to get two on one. This is why. Yeah, they will. That yellow bar on the top. That is my shield. This is not good. That's not good. She got five skill points in Polar from that one hit. What's crazy is these guys will actually. 
skip the current match? Yes. I'm out. So is Janab. So we're out. Good day. Thank you for your time. No good. You get... Doom is exactly correct. Doom is exactly correct. I'm telling you, man. The second you get... Too many, it's just... Two on one, it just it becomes bad. It doesn't matter what difficulty you're at. Okay, so theoretically there are noblemen around here that I'm supposed to talk to. And I can't find them. Too much. Kasira. Try it again. Grace the Brewer. No, I don't want to do a caravan. I don't have enough people to do a caravan ambush. They will, and I mean this lovingly, kill me. Ooh. Chamnir Frostbeard. Alright, let's take a look at Chamnir Frostbeard. Chimnir. He's an archer. And a scout. Oh, I'm gonna get this tall stack of Nordic right here. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? My name's Artemisia. Parents died when I was young. Sister married. Her husband wanted my parents' farm. Devious man who knows the law well. Blah blah blah. Not a good situation. A good scout's good. I can use someone like you. Chimney or Frostbeard, you're my man. I mean, not my man, but. You are the man. Alright, let's... No, 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 no. Trade. Alright, let's get this girl going. So we're gonna... So oh, hold on. Let's get my boy Chimney or some better stuff. Just in case he doesn't have anything. Nope. Oof. Good lord, there's so much to sell. All right, Chimnir, let's see what we can get you to get you by. You know what? Let's get her going. Give you a brown band, wrapped hat, steel cap. You know what? You're going to get that. That's better. You're going to get a ringmail shoulder guard. Uh, let's see here. And a long padded robe. These are all good things. She looks like she's about to go biking. She looks like she's about to go biking. All right, Chimnir, my man, my dude. Leather tunic. Leather cap. Eh, probably the legionary harness. Oh, it looks good on you. Let's look at ranged weapons. Put that as your primary weapon. It's going to be your secondary weapon, and you are going to get barbed arrows? Barbed arrows. They're coming to get you, barbed arrows. You're going to have two sets of arrows. That's 3,000. But Chimney, my man, that feels like it's going to be worth it. That feels like it's going to be worth it. So let's see what we can do. <sighs> Chimnir, that's you and me, and you're going to be my scout. Can I, oh, I'm going to do that right now. Check it out. Chimnir Frostbeard, I'm going to talk to you, bud. He's impulsive, but merciful, and daring, and generous. Ooh, he's dreamy. Captain, about your position in the clan, I would like to assign you a new role. You are going to be... There it is. Scout. I'm asleep now. He's my scout, and Janab's going to be my steward in a second, as soon as I get, you know... Uh, oh, did I... Arena? Tournament? Saligat. Oh, that's another very expensive horse. Oh, yeah. That's a... Uh... Oof. Let's do this. Oh, hello. 
Oh, I'm good at this. So these are horsemen javelins. Am I hitting my friend? Yeah. Alright, dude. Ah! Note to self. Learn to throw the dang... Nothing? Well, time to go old school. Sorry, Janab. Nothing personal, just business. In a second, it's going to be me versus three people. And that's not going to be as fun as you think. So here we go. Oh, come on. Oh, God. The number of times I slam into the wall with a horse makes you wince. Come on. Woo, baby. Horse. I just have... Two damage? Yeah. Deal with two damage. Hitting things with horses. Oh! I was just about to say very, very hard. And that was not. So, really, in this game, you can get equipped pretty quickly. If you do the uh, tournaments, you can get some pretty good equipment. Pretty Quickly. Oh no, it's just an Azurai Archer. Oh. You had it. I want that Asali guy. Here we go again. That's a very expensive set of arrows. Yes, indeed, Taco. That is a very expensive... The most expensive arrows in the world, considering you're going to lose them every battle. Just, did they just hit that horse for no reason? Woo, baby. Hey, uh... Expensive arrows on the planet. So the best archers in the game are the Azurai archers. These guys down here. They are the best in the game. For my money. They're the best in the game. The master archers are well armored, well equipped, good with the bows. Uh, but they're. Oh. But their uh, infantry units aren't. Good. So often they stop them. Uh, their horses are okay. The best, best all around. Um, like, for my money, it didn't get much better. Is the Sturgeon line breakers? Those suckers are terrifying. The Batanian here, the heroes, and like the Batanians and the Sturgeons are really good infantry troops. However, second and probably best all around is going to be your Imperial Troops, which is what I've got. I'm going to get those Imperial Legionaries, and they're going to be great. Oh, good lord. There we go. Ow. Ow. Oh. Oh, dude. I'm going to kill your horse. Oh, 
Sapporo. If you're holding the right trigger, that helps you. Um, <laughs> If you're holding down the right trigger, then uh, that's going to help you, like, that's going to be how you shoot things. But if you don't want to take the shot, you can press the left trigger and it will it will not fire the arrow or throw the the uh, javelin or whatever it is you got. It will basically put it back in the... <laughs> this is sad. Oh, gotta be careful when I'm talking. Problem is, press down too hard. There we go. Anyway, you press the left trigger and you can put the sword or whatever it is. Boom, that was easy. Oh, we're going to bet. I want that to sell it, guys, so I can sell it. Thank you, Taco. Very pleased about that myself. <laughs> Just gauging the length. Oof. That was awful. Oh! Moved at the last minute. Let's just... Let's kill each other with swords like civilized people. I got an Asalagot! Woo! Let's uh, immediately sell... Good lord, 14,000. 14,000. Is there any armor I want to get her? With 14,000? Southern reinforced mail, but... Nah. That was awesome. So I'm getting this old, uh... Still not clan tier one. Let's see if I can get any more people. 24 troops. I can get 24 troops. All right, I think I'm going to do that. So, yeah, you can get a lot of money and a lot of everything by just doing that. So, no, don't want the landlord. I don't care about that. The art of the trade. I always take these. Sell me the goods. 17 barrels of olives. Oh, I, I will find the market. I'll buy them and I'll keep them because they're also going to give me food. But now I got a whole bunch of olives. Sell it to Nala for 57? Is it worth going all the way back to Sanala for? Nah. I'll find something else up here. Who be our? Oh, looters. Yeah, what? I want you to surrender or die. Simple as that. My archers, you were going to be taken by Chimnir. There are no horse archers. So, like everybody else, Advance! engage. And you guys, to me! Here, follow me. You can take out a weapon. So, actually, yeah, you got to have a horse that is tough enough or fast enough to actually allow you to do that. To allow you to uh, get the speed up to couch your lands. 
But if you have a crappy horse like a Sumter horse, you straight up just can't do it. Whiff. I completely whiffed. And here's the thing. Chimneer's, um... Chimneer's perks are going to help all of his people. Tokyo Drift with my horse. It felt like. You're going to take everything because it's necessary. All right. Night sandwich. I'm going to... Night taco. I'm going to see you Sunday. Looking forward to when you stream uh, Medieval Dynasty. I'm looking forward to that very much. Train troops? I don't think I have enough space for that. Training troops requires about five or six... Uh, spaces. We are. Tuna oil pressure. Pressure. Let's see here. Robric barrel chest. What's Robric barrel chest do? Whoa. Steward, trade, athletics, polearm, two handed. Good lord. It's his trading and his. and his steward that's really good. Be Vlandian. Hmm. Let's get out of here. I'm just trying to find the guys that I can talk to to get about information about Noretzi's folly. I'll tell you right now, though. This is just... Not, I haven't seen any of them. Peace to you, Can't say no to that. I'll have two bands of, down two bands of brigands for you. I will hunt down brigands all day long. Hakir of Musum. In and out? No. Come on, bandits. Where are you? around the wastes. They're so close, so they're definitely fighting somebody. Else, right? This guy says he has problems with bandits, but I haven't seen a single one. This guy had eight recruits and then 24 prisoners. That is a lot. Oh, I can upgrade. Got one to go to. Where should I put that? Where should I put that? Uh, oh, I'm going to take steward. So check this out. Frugal party wages are 5% less. Recruitment costs are, are cheaper. I'm going to have the no more. Uh, no, Spartan or no more output. Yeah, this one. Uh, da, 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 da. Leadership, bow, crossbow. Throwing, polearm, one handed. Leadership. faster I get leadership, the more people I can control. Desert bandits, but I'm going to fight you. This will be good. Cavalry, follow me. Die, you I 
There we go. There's one of those mounted archers down about it. No. I bet they've got it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Coward. I'm gonna have those guys charge now. So they'll basically take the other side of them and go after them. I was going to be a legionary. Still can. I thought I was going to be a legionary. These maps are. Oh, that was. There was a guy right there. If I can knock this guy out, I'm keeping him. Just because of who he is. How well he's doing. Did he die? We oh, he died. We sure your frost beer was wounded. I don't know. Maybe we gotta make him stronger. But... Unfortunately, that was not the same thing that needed to be done there. This guy says he's got problems with bandits, but I don't see any. Let's see here. Character. Leadership. All right, here we go. Hmm. I'm gonna take this one. I do forget to speed up time sometimes. I know what the problem is. All the bandits that would be around here are getting slaughtered by all these soldiers. there's no one to fight. Oh, welcome back, Chimner. We're from 20 to 21, that means Chimner's back. With us. So this is going to show you that it it's all about the quality that you have. So there's 27 of them. It's a lot more than us. Riders, follow me. So we are going to harass these.
bad feeling these guys are trying to come towards me. Ooh, somebody got dead. Two people got dead. That's not good. Oh, good Lord. See? Oh, my Lord. That is not good. It's a numbers game. The looters are much worse off than I was. I should have charged them straight on. That was my mistake. And I have lost most of my soul. to prove to you. not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. Oh, that was embarrassing. That hurt. Oh, that was not good. One-handed. Strike. To the Nistica. Seven. All right, I'll take these guys. Let's get this out of the way. Fine wrap shoes. Ripped guarded padded band braces. Done. Olives, 44. Bottom for 22. Man. That was rough. Noble book. Ugh. Noble bow. It's a shield, isn't it? It's a lack of a shield. because he doesn't have a shield. And when they get to him, there you go. Oh, man. Oh, hello. And now I can have a Cantarian Charger. Lovely. Decorate Imperial Gauntlets, don't mind if I do. Legionaries, <laughs> man. They're tough as hell. I want a cape. Yeah. 
so if you press X, you can shield bash. Throw them off guard. Oh. Offer that extra hit. Triari. I do believe that's actually noble. Oh, and you can kick. Abelitos. <coughs> oh, this is done. You're done, man. Boom. 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 There you go. Decorate Imperial Gauntlets, and I will keep them. Much. I'll give my padded gauntlets to somebody who needs them. Let's, ooh. Oh, I'm shiny. You could use some padded mittens. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I did it. I'm clan tier one. I gotta help that guy. I thought I did. Oh, that's embarrassing. And now they've actually got the pilum. Oh. Good to see you. Believe it or not, I mean that. I've been looking for you. You escaped. Where's my brother? Calm what down happened? now. I'll tell you everything. What scum, eh? Even in this profession, double crossing your comrades is frowned upon. I know where he is now. If you agree, we can attack together and save your kin. But in return, I will have the pleasure of killing that bastard. So what do you say? How can we possibly uh, trust each other? You can't trust me, but you need me. And I figure you have enough men that you could easily slit my throat pretty quickly if I lead you into a trap. And I don't need to trust you. You're my vehicle of revenge, not my partner. I can live with that. Splendid. Let's go. But I have a few things to do. There is a hideout near this city. He keeps your siblings there. I will join you right where the path leads up, just out of the sight of their scouts. See you there then. But remember, if this is a trap or something, that will cost you. Ah, of course. I have no doubts on that score. Where's the hideout? Where is the hideout? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's forest bandits, isn't it? Oh, this is gonna suck. Let's go see if I can take care of that person's problem. And then I'll go back for that. There we go. Besides, I need to get these Mess with us. troops. Attack. Give him hell! Charge. Now 
Now I want a Cantarian charge, and these suckers are fast. Two looters, not a problem. Doesn't even matter. Don't even care. Oh, I'm shiny. That looks pretty. That's one group. See if there's anybody that. Plastic. Come on, need one more. There we are. Nice try, Brigand. Let's kill them. Oh, we're on the outskirts of the town. On them! Charge. Yeah! Maybe be careful uh, cities because there's barrels or wicker baskets or whatever the hell that is. Although, in cities, you could actually have a pretty good chance of doing some pretty good damage. Oh, come on. Five fifty, that's not bad. Time to get to the hideout. Those guys Let's check over here. We're gonna get these guys. We're gonna go to Denistica real quick. Twenty five is good. Let's get rid of some of this crap. Midlands Palfrey, those are ones I need. Not a Sawi. Let's check out my food situation. Fish, olives, butter, cheese. I need more cheese. Meat, got plenty of meat. Grapes. Wonderful stuff. Ooh. That guard with bronze plate pauldrons. Ooh. Thick brigandine, luxury family art. Oh my goodness. Infantryman Gambison. For another jacket, skirt. I'll just give you this one to see what that looks like. Well, that looks good. Uh, 
There you go. Let's see here. I'll give you this one. Sorry, anything else? Nope. Alright, let's do this. Oh, it's a mountain one. Okay, thank God. I don't suppose anybody wants me to take care of a bandit hideout, do they? Because sometimes they'll talk about they'll have you do that and you can get extra cash for it. Nope, manual laborers. What about you? You scared about a bandit camp? Darian of Tigressos? Well, good day to ya. Oh, you want to get a herd? I hope you are. Not a problem. Can do. Not a problem. Uh, wow, hope you are small. Hope you are small, far away. Um, tell you what, that'll be the first thing we do later on. It's time to get some penance. See if I can upgrade anybody. Uh. I gotta get all the hood. I gotta go to Hubyar because I can't. I need those guys to heal. I need their backup. <sighs> Let's go to Hubyar. And then I'll come back and do this. And they're healing the entire time, so... Hubyard, a gold one? That's people who I can talk to. Little presser. Deliver the herd. Peace talk. to you, stranger. My name is Artemisia. Here is Tim Sheep, as we agreed. 900. Let's go to the keep. 725. Good lord. Let's go to Tice. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? My name is Artemisia. What is Noretzi's folly? Well, that's what some people call the Great Battle of Pendraic in the year 1077. It was a disaster for him. He died in that, but the victors didn't fare much better. I see. Can you tell me about the battle? Sad day for the Banu Quild, but we had our vengeance. Many Kili youth went with him. They died in their hundreds, and there was no gain except for Nim Nimmer, who for some reason people considered a hero. It was despicable how they fawned on him. Of course, Nimmer's arrogance doubled and doubled again, and he dealt us a great insult. I will not say what that insult was, because it no longer, but it no longer exists. We wiped it out in the traditional way. You may ask someone else about that. Thank you. Heard you need some help with the problem. I don't have enough troops. I got 35 people. I got enough troops. Fine. On my way then. Well, let's see if there's anything I can get her. A little bit better. Heavy ring mail? Nah, you're good, kid. Back to the shack. Let's see if we take out Galter's people. Take out Galter's people, and that's it for the night. place is beautiful. I do love this game. It's a very, very good game. I hope if you're playing it, you're enjoying it as well. And I hope you're enjoying 
coming along with me on this adventure. We gotta find more people to talk about about this. Basically, the Battle of Pendraic, and that's it. At that point, I have no idea what le what happens next in the. Uh, holy crap! You finally arrived. I have a few things to story. say before we attack. We okay. have to be clever. He is a cunning fellow in a low and base kind of way. I defeated you before, and now your gang operates. Less talking, more that raiding. You Come did. on. That you Less talking, did. more raiding is Lead a joke from Warband. Less talking, more raiding is a joke from Warband. Uh, I want to take my guys with me. Everybody's coming with me. We're doing this the right way. All right, everybody follows. Everyone fights, no one quits. Make sure you put on fire at will if you are going into a forest banded hideout. Fire at will will allow them to actually attack the people. Because forest bandits suck. Oh, right in the face. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. You get a large bag. Of If you look at that top thing right there, you'll see that their little their little meter is going down. That is the number of people you have to fight to get control and meet the boss. The big boss. Oh, who's firing? I can't see him. the problem with forest banded hideouts because they're ranged they can do anything be anywhere and it's really hard to where is he stupid darkness Thanks, man. Could not see him for the life of me. Well done, Janab. Oh, there's one out there. should be it, I think. There it is, yeah. Here comes Galter. Bastards, you're the kid of my captives, right? I saw Radagos with ya. You know he can't be trusted. He let us here. Where are my brother and sister? Nah, there's no more talking. Kill me or I'll kill you. That's how this ends. I'll do you the honor of dueling you, and my men will stand down if you win. Very well, I'll duel you. Ooh, he takes up a lot with a two-handed weapon. But, when you don't have real much armor, it's so much better. Nine renown, that doesn't suck. Would we'll take me three bushwhackers and a forest bandit. And I'll raise you. Barbed arrows? Ooh, don't mind if I do. Horseman boots? Why, I'm a horse person. Now that would be stupid, just to do it for the look of it. Thank God I'm stupid. Okay, 
I'll give you a pouch of silver. We said talking was a waste of time. You're right, it goes to property. Artemisia, I knew you'd come. Great heaven. Damn, sister. Nothing can stop you. I love you, sister. So glad to see you safe. Yes, Is everyone okay? we are all fine. The little ones are scared, but fine. We need to be quick and get the hell out of this place. Sounds Meet me, me there later, when you're ready to tell me everything. Okay, brother. Be careful. Take care. Well, looks like we've gotten your kin back to you. So my end of our deal is complete. I'll be making myself scarce now. Don't let your conscience bother you about letting me go, by the way. I won't get back into slaving. Burned too many bridges with my old colleagues, you might say. I'll find some other way to earn my keep. Mercenary work, perhaps. Anyway, maybe our paths will cross again. I don't think Artemisia's gonna do that. Goodbye, Radigos. Throwing. All right. Quick draw. I'm gonna do that one because that's see it's better to have there. Charm. Charm is really good. Self promoter or virile. I'm gonna do self promoter so I can keep getting tournaments. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Throwing. Bow. One handed. Writing. Charm. And, uh, go with endurance on this one. All right, well, there's a butt ton of people around here that want to kill me. All right. We'll get to that later. That'll end it for tonight. We're in a good position to kill the man who took our family. Our family's back with us. I'm going to go back to Danustica and see my brother. So I'll do that right now. Oh. Right. So here's the fun thing about this. You can actually grow these children that are your part of your family. At her 14th birthday, you gave Aaliyah a special present. You've seen her treasure it. Believe it will shape who she is. You gave her a magnificent steed. Second thoughts about giving the child such a spirit animal, but she kept left on his back and galloped like the wild, like the wind across your pastures. All right. In adolescence, you begin to take on serious responsibilities and compete with adults as near equal. She managed to... Uh... Oh, I like the little cape. Think about her merchant, craft a weapon, win a race. With the, she's gonna be my rider. Win a race. Ooh, she's particularly shaped by natural disasters. All right, good on you, girl. All right, and this, this is my little brother. Uh, let's see here. Good eye and a steady hand. Yeah. Oof. Not gonna lie, leadership. Learn to mince fears and fire men's pride, stoke their anger and dispel their fears, and they will turn from men into lions who will do anything for you. Oh, he's a real good ability in medicine. Good for him. Alright. Let's see, go to the tavern. There's my brother. Thanos. Now he can come with us. Do I have enough space for him? I do. I do. Now your brother? He's like stupid good. He is really, really good. And I gotta go to Neresi's Folly. I'll take him back when I need him. Alright. I think... I think that's gonna be it for me tonight. I'll probably be doing this again very soon, if not tomorrow. Uh, what can I say? I've got time off, and there is nothing I'd rather do than... Is that Barbed Arrows? Yep. There's nothing I'd rather do than play this game. 
and stream it again. So thank you for those that have played, listened. Thank you for those that came in and talk, checked it out. Thank you if you stayed around. Thank you if you just sauntered through. It's no big deal. It's a great time to have you. Thanks for stopping by. It's been a lot of fun. So ooh, let's get her a better. Let's get her a better sword. But thank you for playing. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a great evening and a wonderful rest of your week. Oof, sorry. That'll be it for me. Thank you very much. Have a good night. <laughs>